The Biological Control Agent, or BCA, is any living thing that can be used to control a pest. So these are basically good insects that predate on bad insects or lay their eggs inside bad insects to let their children develop inside the pest. In 2005, a new pest arrived in New Zealand, the tomato potato psyllid, commonly known as TPP or psyllid. With no natural predator to control this new pest, New Zealand's commercial greenhouse tomato growers were forced to return to relying on agrochemicals to control their crop pests. What happened was TPP arrived and basically we had to default to harsh chemicals to control that in a hurry. As a result, all of our beneficial insect programs were wiped out, so we were back to square one. With chemicals, very, very quickly they lose their efficacy. Basically, something that's introduced today, in two to three years' time, it won't work anymore because the bad insects develop a resistance to it. The pressure from particularly whitefly, which is our biggest pest, was so strong and they had developed so much resistance to the available agrochemicals that long term we have to find new and better and more sustainable ways of treating our crops. Beneficial insects are not new to the world, that's what's going on in nature anyway. Along came this opportunity with a lighter touch, a great opportunity to find something that was already here, uh, operating in the native bush, and find which ones would work for us in our industry. A native mirrored bug called Ingetatus was found by researchers at Lincoln University to not only target whitefly, but also TPP. When you've got a predator insect who goes and eats those bad insects, I mean, th th that's forever. You've created a solution that is not going to lose its efficacy, it's going to keep working for you forever. So that's the big, the big plus, the big benefit. For us it was about tools in the toolbox to deal with pests that we just were really struggling to get under control. But especially in this region we've got a lot of external pressure of whitefly especially. Traditional agrochemicals were no longer working for us. IPM has always been something that worked in other industries, so for us it was about looking at the options and using the science of a lighter touch to help us you know, get there together and this was about you know, industry continuation as opposed to a nice to have. We've been growing tomatoes for maybe 40 years. We are a tiny operation, so we are a few thousand square metres. We've always used IPM to control our insect pests and the, the lighter touch is a, is a way to make a few more improvements. For example, the tomato pest used to be easy to control until we had psyllids. And then the lighter touch program has got a way of controlling psyllids as well as whitefly. All of our growers are a part of this project now and on board with it and I guess collectively they've seen agrochemical stop working and, and they know that it's not an option just to rely on that anymore. Part of this ALT benefit is that we know that the data is being captured and being looked at by multiple sets of eyes and we've got experts in the industry that are a part of the project. So the project is allowing growers to follow a template based on the research houses. So all the research trial houses are commercial growers. We have none that are research institutes. These are all commercial crops. The growers rely on this income from the tomatoes to survive. So they're all going head first in just because they want to solve this problem. I think as it becomes easier to understand and everyone starts doing it, it'll just, it will become the normal practice. We're seeing a big shift, particularly in tomato growers, because they were already BCA friendly prior to psyllids and they always wanted to be back using BCAs. But for tomatoes, if they can get back to where they were before 2005, they were almost able to get to a residue-free crop or spray-free crop. This drives a lot of consumer confidence. We get a lot of questions through our TNG portal about agrochemical use and what are we putting on our crops and what goes into growing indoors. That's made conversations with these customers a lot easier, being able to tell the story about the lighter touch and what we're working on to reduce our agrochemical inputs and working with predator bugs and native insects that are found in New Zealand and are part of our YPM programs. By using native BCAs, the New Zealand tomatoes industry has revitalised integrated pest management in their industry and demonstrated a pathway for other sectors. However, there are constantly new pests and disease threats to our commercial crops in New Zealand. 
We don't know what we don't know. So we don't know what's going to come in in a year or two or three years time. There's new things arriving every year. So to have a toolbox of other indigenous beneficial insects is going to be a huge advantage, not just to tomatoes, but all of horticulture. The Lighter Touch program has been around for quite some time. There's been a lot of money invested into it, but it's provided a, a wonderful roadmap for the horticulture industry to go out and identify beneficial insects that are native to New Zealand and to be able to adapt those to our vegetable crops and improve New Zealand growing.